We got a Mi 12 Pro here. It's Xiaomi's latest flagship smartphone. And let's do an unboxing and see how it performs. The box is quite thick and seems like it didn't ditch the charging brick. That is a good news. Okay, let's open it. And here are some accessory parts. And there's a SIM card remover, a clear case, and some paperwork inside. And here we are, the Mi 12 Pro itself. Under the smartphone we have a... Uh, wow, that is a pretty big one. A 120 watt charger, that is pretty beefy. And we get a Type-A to Type-C USB cable. So let's talk about the phone design a bit. I think the overall design of Mi 12 Pro is quite decent, comparing to let's say Mi 11 series. The camera bump is not wrapped in glass, it's a matte metallic finish here. And what I like the most is these cut lines, these simple cut lines between the cameras, make it look a bit more classy. Well, nice little touch. And the material on the back is, of course, glass. It also got this matte finish, so you will not find any fingerprint at all on that. Neat. And the build quality of this Metro Pro is just nice. The transition from the glass to aluminum, and then aluminum to another piece of glass, is just really smooth. I mean, you can barely feel the gap on your finger. It's kind of like holding a soap, I guess. Overall, the design of this Metro Pro does feel like a premium one. It's indeed a flagship design. And then the screen. This screen is gorgeous. It's a 3200 by 1400, 120 hertz, 1500 nits, LTPO, reliable refresh rate OLED display. Very bright, clear, definitely top level screen on smartphone. LTPO technology is used to reduce power consumption of your display, so when you're using Mi 12 Pro, the refresh rate will change in real time depends on, let's say, how fast you swipe or what is displayed on your screen. Maybe you're watching this video and it's like uh, 60 Hz, and when you touch it, swipe it, it became 120 Hz. This technique was actually used by iPhone 13 Pro, and Xiaomi just bring it to Mi 12 Pro right now so you can save some battery life. Speaking of the battery, this phone actually has a 120 watts of fast charging. Well, this is not the first 120 watt in the industry, but this time it's different. Previously, fast charging technology at this level are implemented by dual battery cell, which will increase the size of the battery module and compromise some precious internal space. So a 120 watt charging phone before either has less battery capacity or a thicker and heavier body. But on Mi 12 Pro, they introduced a single battery cell 120 watt charging. So you got this 4600 mAh large battery and a light and thin body, no compromise. And the charging speed is freaking fast. As we tested, it can charge from 0 to 100% within 18 minutes. I mean, you can literally see how fast it is. It's just crazy. And then cameras. Classic triple camera setup, wide, ultra wide, and a 2x telephoto camera. The main camera is using a 1 over 1.28 inches, 15 megapixel new sensor, which is IMX707. According to Xiaomi, the low light performance of this is hugely improved. The other two has slightly smaller sensors, but still 15 megapixels. Pretty good hardware, but how it actually performs though? Well, we took some photos and you will be the judge. Another thing we cared about is the speakers. Mi 12 Pro provides an interesting design when it comes to speakers. It's a stereo speaker first, but they separated bass and the treble by designing four speaker units. So the sound can be more clear by theory. We compared Mi 12 Pro with iPhone 13 Pro Max and recorded some samples for you to judge. And then what about gaming? I mean, Mi 12 Pro has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, the latest Qualcomm chip inside, so it should be good at gaming, right? 
Well, it's a bit complicated. If the title you are playing is not so demanding like uh, Call of Duty Mobile or PUBG or let's say Asphalt 9, you will be fine. These games runs okay on Metro Pro. But for more demanding games like Genshin Impact, you will not get the best experience though. Even on performance mode, we can only get a 45 FPS on average, which is not really ideal even comparing with some Snapdragon 865 phones. This performance is kinda lame. But the good news is the power consumption stays low, so the temperature is pretty ideal. We recorded the highest point only 44 degrees Celsius, which won't really burn your skin too much. But you know what, I actually found a hidden mode called Speed Mode under Dev Option Menu. And after we enable that, Genshin Impact received a pretty huge performance boost, reaching an average of 52 FPS. It's a proper performance, but still not enough. I mean, reaching the exact same performance as last gen and having the exact same power consumption as last gen is not really something you can brag about, right? And considering this mode is hidden inside dev options, I doubt anyone will actually notice it, so still pretty lame. And finally, we decide to torture the Mi 12 Pro to its absolute limit. With 5G connection enabled and a 30 degrees Celsius room temperature, we will run Genshin Impact for a while to see how it works out. And it runs pretty poor. The frame rate drops to 20 after like uh, only 6 minutes and the game just runs like a crap. But to my surprise, the temperature isn't going really high. 49 degrees Celsius for the highest, in a 30 degree room it's just fine considering some of my phones can go as high as 57 degrees in this crazy test. So what actually happens is that Xiaomi applied a very hot restriction, I mean heat restriction on Mi 12 Pro that prevents your phone from overheating. While the temperature does stay pretty low, the gaming performance is indeed affected. And when the phone gets hot, it will perform like a crap. But still, besides heavy gaming, Mi 12 Pro actually does a pretty good job at everything else. It has a premium design, premium feeling, awesome display and cameras, incredible charging speed with decent battery life, stereo sound, and it's not that expensive, at least in China, so I think it will be the same worldwide. For everyday usage, I think Mi 12 Pro will serve you pretty well. So what do you think? Are you interested in Mi 12 Pro? Maybe tell me your thought in the comment section below. Alright, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and the sub to our channel. See you next time.